All right, here's my first print with my non-Bowden direct drive extruder. It's a Ultabots modified with an underslung bracket and a 40 millimeter cooling fan. Unfortunately, I don't have my heated platform yet, so we're printed on blue tape with ABS, so it's curling like crazy on the bottom, but that's to be expected. But hey, I think I like the way it looks. Let me hold steady here for a minute. Let's see. I'm getting unusual pendulum effects or anything. Seems to be printing pretty accurately. Blobs at the corners. I don't have the retraction calibrated, or the, I think I'm printing a little bit sparse. I need to turn the print head up a little bit. Hey, not bad. Let's see, we're doing the finishing up on this block. See the extruder. You can see the little marker put on the wheel. Going around and around. Let's retract here in a second. Retract. Yeah, it's not going backwards. Okay, so it's not retracting. I'll have to figure that one out. You can see I'm using the Igus plastic bearings. It's quiet. Seems pretty smooth. Using GT2 belt and the boxed idlers, which I think really helps a lot. Keeps them from uh, sagging under load. Well, yeah, I'm looking I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, it's all done. Going home. Done. Let's see how we look. I'm going to weigh it. This is printed with the same settings that I did on my Thingomatic. It's 2.2 grams. And let's put the one from the Thingomatic on there. 2.5, 2.6 grams. So yeah, I need to up my, my print a little bit so that the weights equal out. So point through, so what, I'm 15% low or something like that. So. Just gotta fix that. Well, that's it. Delta bot.